stove that's currently installed in the kitchen. We're going to replace it with the Blackstone. Let's get started. going to need to get up underneath here and you're going to need to disengage the gas line from the shelf so that you can remove everything so you're going to want to get down here and disengage all this first so that then you can remove the stove there. now it's all removed this to take the cover off. take this shelf here and I'm gonna take this arm off it's just held on by pocket screws behind the shelf and I'm actually gonna take the shelf that's behind it and move it up behind this board this one I'm gonna leave here and that's gonna become the new shelf this one's going away so that the grill will fit so the new drawer will be this size in here so it can fit okay so I removed this screw from the pocket recess hole back here for this bar back here, I removed that. And now I'm gonna continue on to get everything else out. Now I've got the two pocket screws out. The rest of this is stapled to the shelf. So you're just gonna to wanna to get in there with a screwdriver and loosen the staples to separate it. Cause you don't wanna break anything. We're gonna be using the shelf part of this again. So you wanna be able to keep it intact. Okay, so you can see that I, after I got the shelf out of the way, I was able to remove the second pocket screw. This is what's holding it in there. The screws go in at an angle in a little pocket, that's why it's called that way, and screws right into the other piece of wood. Okay, and then you can see the staples are here. This is the cross piece of wood that the front panel was attached to. You're gonna wanna be able to remove that out of there because you're gonna wanna use this up here. 
and I'm going to use the nail gun to staple that into place. That's going to be the new front platform for this shelf. This shelf is going to move to this position and I'm going to use this and the brackets underneath it to hold it in place. So I still need this wood. I'll get rid of these staples and I'll nail gun it from the front. Okay, so now what I've done is I've taken just a flathead screwdriver and I've gone around the edges of this shelf underneath it and the, and the wood that it's laying on the ledge and just popped it loose. It's just staples because I want to be able to use this shelf again. So this way I can just lift it up out of the way. Just like that. Okay, and these are the same way. These are the, the rails that hold the shelf up. And you're just going to get a flat screwdriver in there. Same kind of thing. You, it's all staples. So you just very carefully pry it away from the wall. You want to be able to get it off so you can use it because we're just going to move it. So slowly pry it loose. See that? It's just staples. Comes right off. We're going to nail gun it on there. It is going to leave a little bit of a mess, but we can kind of clean that up. Okay. This is what it looks like all stripped out. Everything's out of there. I took the shelf out of the track so I can work on it and changing out the board. I'm gonna put a new board in because the existing one of course has a hole where the double burner stove was and I wanna be able to attach our grill onto that shelf. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I've got the shelf off. What I'm gonna do is take a piece of three quarter inch plywood. I'll set it on top of here and I'm gonna measure it because I'm gonna take these rails and attach them onto this shelf. This will be the new shelf. So I just want to get it for it's pretty close to fitting the current size so that the rails will fit just right. Okay. So there it is. There it is. Now I just got to straighten that out and I'll be able to cut this to fit. Okay, so now I've cut the wood down to size so that it fits right in here where the rails are. So I'm going to take these rails and attach them to this board. And this is going to become our new shelf to roll out. And then uh, the grill will be mounted to this. Now both the rails are attached to the board. Okay, so now I'm going to place the grill on the new shelf and look at how I want to position it. I want to make sure I've got clearance for my knobs and I want to make sure the back of it's clear and the side of it's clear. The hose is going to be connected here. So I want to make sure the whole thing is going to be able to slide in and out. And then I'm just going to go to the mounting holes and mark it where I need to drill my holes to bolt it in.
so there you go that's our new shelf this is where it goes and it'll sit in there just like that So this is the beginning of the bracket, uh, the shelf that the uh, the plate, the shelf plate's going to lay on. So I'm starting right here to make that set my level, and then I'm going to attach them all the way back, square them all off, and then I'll drop the shelf down in place and nail it in. goes down and connects to the quick connect and you've got your drill ready to go you can access the knob you can empty the uh, oil the grease trap and it can totally go in if it needs to this way or you can turn it upside down the way you're normally supposed to travel with it and put it in there and there you go for the shelf with it so here you go everything's there you close it, you have access to everything, the shelf is here, good to go. I hope that helps you with your installation process. I know I'm going to want to use this grill a lot more than I did the burner. In fact, I never used the burners. Um, so now I'm looking forward to using my kitchen. Thank you.